Hi, today I'm going to do an everyday shimmery sort of makeup because shimmer can be a little bit tricky during the day, obviously in harsh daylight. You don't want it to be too glittery or too metallic, but a little bit of shimmer can look great on all skin tones and all ages for every day. It can be very, very flattering as well. So I'm going to do kind of a flattering everyday, quite shimmery makeup. So I'm going to start by doing my base. I'm going to be trying out the new Yves Saint Laurent foundation today. I haven't used it before. It's called Le Ton En Creux de Peau and it's a lighter version of the previous one which is the Touche Clap foundation and it's one of the um, very watery ones, a little bit like Maestro which is by um, Armani which I have to say is not my favorite of the um, Armani foundations. I don't really like it because it's a little bit too silicone for me. This one I've only tried out on my hand so far and one cheek, but I've, I actually really like the feel of it. It has that silicone start to it, but then it very quickly settles down and it becomes really transparent in the skin. And the dry down, the sort of after the silicone's evaporated off, doesn't feel too dry. Some of them go a bit powdery when the silicone evaporates and this one stays quite fresh looking. So really nice for kind of a everyday light foundation. I'm using number 30. Which is a little bit warmer than I probably will be in the winter but have a tiny bit of colour at the moment. Well, for me anyway. <laughs> so the finish is quite velvety. I just went and had a look actually in daylight with my magnifying mirror outside. And um, I don't feel like I need powder yet with it. So and it's a very hot day today, but I'm not sure how it will last. But my pores looked great. It didn't emphasise any of my pores. And I thought it was a really good coverage for quite a light foundation. So I think I like this one. I think it looks really, really natural and um, kind of flawless. Okay, so I do need to do a little bit of concealing, although it has covered all of my pigmentation -y bits really well. So I'm just going to use mainly under my eyes. I'm going to use this Match Perfection by um, Rimmel, just to lighten up under my eyes. Also going to use that a little bit just around my mouth area. And just pat into place. So for my eyes I'm going to use an eye palette which has lots of shimmery shades in. I'm going to choose this one by Revlon because it also has one dark matte shade in which is quite good for defining. So if you're using a lot of shimmer you kind of need one something with a bit of oomph just to define your eyes. So I'm going to start with the silvery shade which is just going to give a wash of silver. It's not too light as well so it's not kind of Still going to define a bit. Just going to apply that really, really simply and just buff a little bit with a Q tip. So just kind of up to the socket. Keep it really, really soft. Then there's this kind of peachy tone with it as well, which is quite shimmery. I'm just going to use that onto the brow bone, but really. It's not massively shimmery. There's so many different levels of shimmer within makeup. So it's looking for um, ones which have low level shimmer, but enough to kind of show up. And depending on how mature your skin is, you want less, you want smaller shimmer and less of it in a way. So you can tell when somebody has like more of a sheen to it, then it means that the shimmer is particles are small and there's not too many of them. As soon as something gets glittery, it's because the shimmer part, the, the pearl particles are much bigger and they're less kind of evenly shaped and there's more of it. So you start to get that real kind of glittery effect. And with metallics, it means that there's just loads and loads of very tiny shimmer, which creates almost a reflective surface. So that's something, again, entirely different. So look for something that is shimmery to the point where it kind of gives your skin more of a sheen and um, a light shimmer. So I'm going to use the same silver shade underneath my lashes. And in terms of sort of colours that you use, um, pearl comes in all different shades. So if you have dark, a darker skin tone, go for a more golden pearl or bronzy pearl. I mean, 
they come in so many you can get silver pearl white pearl lavender pearl pink pearl so um, you'd be able to get that sort of shimmery effect but have something that really flatters your skin and doesn't look too kind of ghostly or um, too unflattering so this has this silver has kind of a white pearl in which is working well with my skin tone and um, the shade itself because I have a bit of pink and a bit of yellow in my skin I can usually do silver quite well and I can do gold as long as it's not too yellowy so it's kind of a little bit of trial and error really with shades as well and figuring out your which ones really suit you but certainly shimmer is available in pretty much all every different shade so that silver underneath is just going to give again a little bit of shading a little bit of definition because it has a little bit of strength to it as well it's not too washed out and I'm going to use that peachy shade again that I used up here on my um, brow bone and just really add a nice shimmer into the corner there this is obviously a much warmer shimmer more peachy which is quite a nice contrast next to the the white shimmer of the silver Now inside this palette is a dark brown which is quite matte and it's often a good idea if you're using a lot of shimmer to put something which grounds the eye makeup. So whether it be a grey or a brown or a black if you want more definition if you're used to using black. And just taking that along the lashes is quite helpful. Another product I really like to use in my kit if I want to add shimmer is this Illusion Dom, which is um, just gives a really sort of pale sheen. Again, you can get these in more golden tones and bronze tones as well. And um, it's quite nice either if you're already a bit shimmery and you want to add a little bit more, or if you prefer not to use shimmery eyeshadows but you want to add a little bit of shine at the end. So even if you've used, say, a matte eyeshadow, you can then just using fingers go and just add a little extra sheen and I like to put it just on the center of the lid so you could do that on top of um, something that wasn't even shimmery if you just want to catch the light it's actually really good for um, mature eyelids as well because you can put a matte base underneath and then just add a little bit of shimmer you can also use that if you wanted to on your cheeks as well on the top of your cheeks if you wanted to go a little bit more shimmery so I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and give them a really good curl so on to mascara and um, I want to really make a statement of my lashes because against this shimmery backdrop my lashes are really going to stand out. So when you're using a, a shimmery shadow it's nice to have really pout lashes. I'm going to use the Grandiose which is the Swan Neck. This is the new uh, mascara by Lancome which I wasn't really sure of the point of it when I they sent it to me until I was doing my makeup in the car. Not when I was driving by the way, <laughs> in the back of the car the other day. And um, while I was doing my lashes, I was thinking, oh, I normally touch the side of my face at the moment, or sometimes when I go across my nose, and I'm kind of doing that, and sometimes I catch my nose here, and I thought, oh, I can see why they did it. It kind of sits away from the face, so, um, and also you can kind of get into quite good positions without anything touching your, um, touching the rest of your face or your, the bridge of your nose. And it's a really nice um, brush. So I guess it's kind of an interesting design, but ultimately the mascara is good and that's really what I'm mainly interested in. <laughs> Gives a really good payoff quite quickly. So when I'm getting right into the corner there, it kind of is sitting away from my face as you can see. It's not touching my cheek. And you get a really nice black effect. And for underneath, it's really good because normally, if I get right down to the roots, something sometimes catches there. I guess it really depends on the physiology of your face. Some people find this more useful than others, but if you're someone that always gets mascara from the wand, either along your cheekbone or in between your nose, then you probably find this design quite handy. So for brows, I'm just going to use my Gosh palette powder and just fill in the high points. 
mixing together the grey and the brown so it looks really natural. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more shimmer to my face now. I'm going to use the Steeler All Over Shimmer. This is quite nice because it's not too pinky and not too goldy. It has a mixture of gold, yellowy and pink pearl and it's quite small, the pearl. I'm actually going to apply it from the back of my hand using my foundation brush, a tiny bit left on there, which will just help it to kind of sit in a bit more. And I'm just going to apply this to the high points of my cheeks. I haven't powdered this foundation, so it's going to sit quite nicely on top of it. I still don't think I need to powder this. It doesn't feel like it's getting shiny at all. Which, considering it's such a hot day, I'm quite surprised with my skin. Just keeping that really nice and fresh along the top of the cheekbones. You can do centre of nose as well. If you've obviously got really, really oily skin, then don't do this bit because you want to keep your nose matte. And it looks nice on the top of the lip as well. I'll get a tiny bit more. Just dab on. Keep it quite big because if you draw it at like a line of shimmer, it always looks really harsh. But if it's kind of just a nicely highlighted area, it kind of just looks more flattering. So before I use my blusher, I'm going to put a little bit of powder on. As I say, I don't really feel so shiny with this um, foundation. But I'm just going to put a little bit around the centre. Seems to have quite a velvety finish. Okay, on top of that, I'm going to use blush, and I've chosen this one by Rimmel because it's quite an icy pink, but it has a really warm gold shimmer to it. So um, it's going to be quite, I think, quite easy to wear. So it's not too icy, but you are going to get that slightly shimmery effect, rather similar to the um, highlighter that I've used in that the colour is quite silvery, but the pearl is warm. So for lips, I'm going to use more shimmer, but I'm going to use a lip pencil first so that I get definition, because it's so important when you're doing anything shimmery that there's definition as well. If your whole face is just shimmery, um, it's, it's just not going to look good. You want shape and definition, so whether it's the eyes, you want to add something a little bit darker and good lashes. Whether it's the cheeks, you want to add a little bit of colour, or whether it's your lips, you want a good lip pencil. So I'm going to go all over with this Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil. This is Pillow Talk. So this is kind of a natural pinky tone. So that just gives me a really good shape. And allows me to cheat, obviously, on my bottom lip. I chose two for um, lip glosses, a NARS one and a Revlon one. I think because I've gone quite pinky now, I'm going to go for the more pinky one, which is the NARS one. But this peachy one by Revlon would also be really nice if um, maybe you're a little bit more warmer skin toned. So I want most of the shimmer, I think, to be on the lower lip. And then just do that to spread it to the top and then a tiny bit onto the cupid's bow but not a lot so by having less gloss just using doing that to transfer i think with uh, with any kind of shimmery or glittery gloss you don't want a really gloopy and thick just do that and it'll spread nice and thin so that's really the finished look and i think it's a great look it's very fresh um just the right amount of shimmer not too glittery not too metallic and shimmer is really nice because it can help to really define, obviously if you've got it on your cheeks, it, it adds a three-dimensional effect to cheeks. For lips, it adds fullness. So it really gives, again, that three-dimensional effect. And for eyes, I think it just really brightens and, and perks up your eyes. And certainly it frames lashes. So not only that, it's very, very easy and quick to do. So I hope you like it.